What's going on folks? This is Jam Calpin of Calpin Creations here with another video to help busy people to start podcasting on a budget. I believe podcasting is the best way for professional brands and businesses to share their message and create deep connections with their audience. And I want to help you to do that because it's the deep connections we create that help us impact others. I hope everybody is doing good. In this video, I wanted to share with you my first professional microphone. The reason that I use quotations is because it's debatable whether people would consider this microphone professional or not. To me, at the time when I got it, <laughs> I definitely thought it was professional because it was the most expensive microphone that I had got at the time. And um, it was on a different level than all the stuff that I was getting from like Radio Shack and Best Buy at the moment. And the other reason I wanted to talk to you about this microphone is because I want to help give perspective to what you really need to start podcasting. So the first microphone that I got is in this box. This is not the original. I got a newer version because I didn't need the other one. So this is just a newer version of it. But I, the first microphone that I got is an MXL 990. If you are into podcasting or sound or music or anything like that, I'm pretty sure you've probably seen this on Amazon or Guitar Center or wherever else um, that you may buy equipment. And the thing is, it's kind of a low budget microphone. This is a condenser microphone created by MXL. And this is probably like one of their flagship microphones um, because really it's a great microphone to start with. Like. The reason I got this, the first one I got, because again, like I said, this is the second one. The, the one that I had, I had it since 2007. And the reason I got it is because at the time I was making music um, with friends in college and we were making mixtapes and producing stuff like that. And, but it was like, we need better microphones. We need better equipment because we're trying to do things legit. I got this microphone actually on sale when I got it. And I think when it was on sale, it might've been $60. Now, these go for about $100, $100 brand new. And so I got the microphone specifically to make music. And then eventually I started using it for all kinds of stuff, for podcasting, for voiceover work and doing all kinds of stuff. And like, really, I just wanted to make music and create content. Before I got this mic though, I was already doing that stuff. I was already doing voiceover kind of stuff. I was already making music. I was already doing all that stuff. But you know, ultimately it was a tool that I wanted to get because I wanted to level up. And I think it can be the same way with the podcasting equipment that we get. The thing is, you don't need something like this to get started, but this could be a great place for you to start. Again, it's the MXL 990. And so I just wanted to share with you a couple of pros and cons to the microphone. The number one pro that I would mention is that it's low cost. For $100, it's a pretty good microphone. It's a pretty good microphone for you to get started with um, doing podcasting or if you're interested in anything else, doing music, um, voiceover work, it's a great place to start. Again, like I mentioned, it's only a hundred bucks. You can probably get one used for less than that. And um, it has everything that you need. It captures the range of voice pretty well. It's just pretty consistent, you know. Um, it might be a little on the low end. Um, so if you have a very deep voice, it may pick that up a little bit more. But in general, it's just a good sturdy, straightforward microphone. And again, also it's a good workhorse for, you know, creating audio content. So if you want to travel, travel around with it, you can do that. The reason that I have two of these is because I was creating a podcast and I needed two microphones to record into for me and the other person. And so again, the MXL 990 is a affordable microphone that picks up really good sound. Actually, um, if you do the right, right things like treating your space and stuff like that, and I have some videos about that, about where you should record. But it was a great microphone for me to just take with me anywhere and everywhere and use it for so many different things. It's just a good, consistent condenser microphone. So a couple of the cons that I would mention though is it requires an audio interface. So if you're getting started and you're tight on a budget or whatever, $100 for a microphone is one thing, but then you're gonna need a way to be able to connect this to your computer or to whatever you're recording on. So typically, if you're working and recording everything in your laptop or computer, you're going to need an audio interface to be able to take from the microphone, which is most condenser microphones are XLR. They have XLR connections. You're going to have to have something that's going to convert from an XLR to then USB or to take the analog sound that is recorded in your microphone and turn it in to digital ones and zeros and stuff like that. So that would be an, an extra expense if you wanted to go with a condenser microphone or specifically the MXL 990. So that's a con that you have to buy more equipment to actually use it. The other con 
which is sort of a con, but that it's because it's a condenser microphone, it's super sensitive. So there are some microphones out there that, you know, they don't pick up a lot of ambient sound, but condenser microphones are designed to pick up the very sensitive and nuanced things about the voice or about instruments and things like that. So like if you were playing a violin or a guitar and you wanted to record it, a condenser microphone like the MXL 990 is something that you would use to capture all of the the delicate intricacies of that instrument or of the human voice. And so if you're recording or you know you're where you're producing your podcast isn't the best in regards to noise. So say you have really noisy neighbors or there's a lot of traffic near you or pretty busy wherever you're recording, a condenser microphone might not be the best choice for you because it's going to pick up all of that sound. So that's, you know, another one of the cons. But if that's something that you're willing to work on, again, trying to create the best environment to record your audio, again, it's a good microphone to consider. So yes, I have uh, an affinity <laughs> to, to, to this microphone, uh, ultimately to the MXL brand too, because they pr- produce a lot of good, good quality equipment that's affordable. And uh, it helps a lot of people like myself and like you um, to start creating audio content Uh, particularly like podcasting. So I would definitely recommend checking out MXL's line of of different equipment and microphones and things like that. Now, I'll also encourage you to check out my other video, what is the best microphone for beginners? And so you can see what's best for you and there will be a link somewhere in the video. (laughs) And also remember, time and cost doesn't have to stop you from starting a podcast. So go get started.